Hey, this is Samara and Co. Signing on with some more of Metroid Zero Mission. I keep wanting I... to say Samus or something else, just not Metroid Zero Mission. I keep thinking it's a bit, and then I'm like, no, he's seriously thinking. No, yeah, it's like, you know, I was doing some recording after we did No More Heroes, and for a while I kept stopping myself from saying this is Tamara and Co. signing off, even Aww. though it's like, I'm alone. <laughs> Anyways, so there's stuff to do. Ah, you goddamn freaking bugs! Okay, so we got some ideas on what we might do, and we'll see if it works out. Woo! Oh. This is cool. <laughs> It'll be fine. We can make it through this. <laughs> We're strong and independent. They designed it specifically so it do that, and that makes me so happy. <laughs> Just to rub it in your face for messing up. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, well, that didn't work. Oh, wait. Okay, uh... I, I really like the puzzle design for these. Oh yeah, it's fun. It's like simple... Oh god. It's simple but effective. Yeah. Also, I love the background. I was just like, oh look at this collapsed tunnel from Darkest Dungeon, you know? Right. The backgrounds in these areas are so interesting to me. Like, I love the... The feeling of space that they give off, even though it's like a 2D game. No, right, and again, just like the overall art style in this, it looks really good. Oh yeah, I... I legitimately think that Metroid has, like, some of the best pixel art. Like, legitimately, like, bang for your buck, I think it's the best pixel art. Okay, fake acid. Well, <laughs> we were specifically like, okay, this area looks like a good place to, to look. Pick up and... Yeah, I'm sure there... Oh, there's a door down near the bottom we might have missed, but... Who knows what's down there, or if we can get to it. Um, it's worth looking. Might as well. It, it's probably gonna just be missiles, but... We got plenty of time. Yeah, and we got plenty of health now, too. Uh, oh. I was thinking, like, okay, how do I get up there? Oh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Wee! It really scares me that the blocks that you landed on, like, look <laughs> we're, broken. We're cracked, it's just yeah. like... Uh, uh, ah! God, this whole thing. Missiles! Keep forgetting. So if we go up here, then... You know, something that's nice about uh, this game that they didn't have in the original... Right. Oh, we just can't go back down there. Uh, I was gonna mention it, too. I was like, that might be the way, like, to go forward, so... Right. Like, at the time, I was like, you might want to hit the thing. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, well. Now nah, we'll come back to it, or we won't. Or we won't. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't need to be 100%. No. Although, uh, they do give you different ending screens, depending on how well you did. Right. But, I think... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Another way down. Yes, yes, yes. Aha! 100% here we come! I think the idea now would be uh, to head back to North there. Yeah, probably. There was some uh, speed stuff there, right? I think so. It's been a while, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Didn't... Oh, that's right. We didn't check out that door because I got distracted by the thing. Oh, wait. Wait, which door? Oh, that, that was a really nice sound. Really yeah. Like this one. Oh, yeah. Or did we go through here? Oh, it's the map oh, room. Oh, boy. This the been... last room we went to is the map room. <laughs> yep. Okay, well. <laughs> That's funny. I got distracted by the cannon, and I completely forgot there was another door. Yeah. Well, it means we were thorough. <laughs> That's hilarious. Map data doesn't get everything, by the way. No, but it got the important stuff. I think we've been pretty thorough otherwise. Oh, yeah. Man, 100%, okay. here we come. <laughs> Time to get the, the Zero Suit Samus ending. Woo! Which we could just get by dying. I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, speaking of Zero Suit Samus, and then go into a different discussion, but uh, that sounds weird. No, but off camera, I was going to mention... I know, like, people want to see video game movies for some reason, but what it be what would it be like to have a Metroid movie? I think it would be really interesting to see a movie that tries to capture the style of Metroid. I feel like there's a lot of things that it would be hard to translate to a movie, though. Right, but... Uh, on. All right, there's a thing. He just looked like he had like this smug look on his face. 
He's like, hmm, I'm the boss of this place. Okay. So, that's foreshadowing. <laughs> I like that. Okay, it was weird because I saw the wall and go like, oh, that wall is a dinosaur face. <laughs> yeah, that's Kraid's face. Oh. It collapsed because you killed him. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, it's just stone face in the wall, and when you kill the person it's modeled off of, the wall opens. Hey! Hey, and then now it's the Chozo statue to tell us where to go, because we oh, needed that. Oh, yeah. Desperately. Nah, I, I figured it was going to be Nora Fair, because <laughs> that's just where you go. Yeah, like, I told you. Yeah, no, I knew. <laughs> I was just making sure that you knew. <laughs> it says Metroid Zero Mission. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know where to go, said Miss Metroid Zero Mission. <laughs> That's who we're playing as. I think you mean, uh, Mr. Metroid Zero Mission. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I love Guy who's very cocky about thing he doesn't know. Right. That's a great character. Metroid Zero Mission, we need you for a job. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, that's not my name, Captain. What? I'm calling all Metroid Prime 3 corruptions. Yeah, stop that. Uh, yeah, we're going the right direction. Wait. Oh. I just saw that flame up on top, and I think that's where the statue was. Yeah, that's where it was. Okay. It's interesting that they had a flame there for it. Yeah. It's like, oh, a flame. wonder what's up there. Oh, come on. Oh, for some reason I saw like the thing on the mini map and go like, oh, enemy up ahead. Even though that's not. Oh, <laughs> oh, like the Chozo is the uh, boss fight. Yeah, just sort of like there's something. That's funny. But anyways, Metroid movie. I think it could work very well. I think Metroid is probably one of the better franchises that could like take a crack at it because I don't feel like it's a big stretch to have like sci-fi bounty hunter fighting aliens or tracking them down. Yeah, and also, like, it's just, like, the way it's set up, it is dripping with suspense, you know, and it, action. Yeah, exactly. I know it's probably, like, a common thing to say, but if you can give it, like, an alien type of spin, like a PG-13 alien, that could work wonders, I think. I will say that it would be very hard to pull it off, though, because, um... I mean, well, if you're just going based on, like, like, if she's just doing, like, a Metroid mission, like, you know, it's a lot harder to do a movie with one actor than it is a video game, you know? Right, but I would think, you know... I mean, there are supporting characters and they could focus on, like, the Federation more. And if they did something more like that, that would be cool, but... I honestly think that would be the worst thing they could do, because that would just waste time on unimportant characters. Well, uh... just make a, make a storyline that makes the characters matter, you know? Right. But, like, I mean, otherwise it would just be, like, you know, 90 minutes of... And then Samus was walking. Right, but know? depending on, you know, you could have a whole thing where Samus is, like, re reacting to the world around her. And, you know, you can make a whole, like, uh, you know, the plot around, like, the one Metroid that she bonds with or whatever. Was there anything I could do down there? There was, like, a speed thing, but I don't think there's a way I can get momentum. Um... I don't think so. Well... Actually, give it another look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. Yeah, I just... I th went out the other way thinking, like, there might be a path that just led me to the drop. But, you know, what is that? Like, Super Metroid, where she's got, like, the... Baby Metroid or whatever? I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's Metroid, I don't care. Yeah, but we're playing it. I know, we're but... We're playing the feud. Alright, uh... Can I see it real quick? Yeah. Okay, so, this could be two things. Uh, this can only be one thing. This is gonna blow your mind, Tim. Okay. Ow! 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 God! Oh! Oh. Wait. Well, this was unexpected. Oh! You know, it's really interesting trying to pick these puzzles apart, knowing... Like, only half remembering the shit that's in them. You know? Right. It's probably more your familiar familiarity with Metroidvania than, you know, the game itself. Fuck. That's weird. I think I fucked it up. What were you trying to do? <laughs> I was trying to figure out uh, a thing. Let me see. Maybe. I think this wait, is wait, 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 wait. I got I got to test something. 
I don't quick here. Yep, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting little thing. Like, trying to, you know, work backwards to figure out how to, like, figure out the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was really good at that. Fuck. <laughs> um... Whoops. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't even know if this is gonna work. I don't think it will, honestly, but... Just, like, crashing through multiple rooms at once? Maybe. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well, what... Well, because it's down here is the problem. Well, does it lead to another area, or does it just go back to, like, little hidden spot? Um... Okay, so what I, I thought it was gonna be like one of the things that like launches you straight up, except it like went to the left. Oh. But it can't be that because of the next room. Or can you? This is weird, dude. I don't know what the fuck is up with that. You cannot do it while in morph. Hmm. I don't know. Um... No, yeah, just bringing that block does it just lead you right back down that path, or... Yeah, that's where I came from. Well, now from. you gotta... Well, you... Yeah. Okay, I was just wondering if, like, maybe it opened up, like, had a different pathway through, but... No, I'm pretty sure what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to, like, shoot from here somewhere, go left, and then sh go through that, and then keep going between the screens to, uh, go into that one area that we were originally looking at. Huh. Wait, what happens if you do this? Ow. <laughs> that happens. This is when it gets into the weird part of the puzzling. So I don't- we could just move on if you want, or... We probably should just move yeah. on. Just gonna grab that, and then... there you go. Right. Just trying to figure out, then what was the- because all that led to a power-up, what's the thing that kind of has like, a little like, bulb on it? Is that just like a... Wait, what? The power-up that, uh, you know... Uh, never mind. We'll probably find another one later. Oh, wait, I didn't even see what the power-up was. Oh, it was kind of like a little screw thing with, like, a bulb on it. Oh, uh, that might have been a super missile. Oh. We might not even be able to get it then. Okay. I would assume that it's progress locked. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, so where, where are we headed to again? Uh, that way. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming that in the next room you'll be able to do the speed jump then. Right. Or you could also, actually, um... Quick spoiler, you should be able to bomb the left. Where we were at, I was just gonna say. Maybe a specific spot. Nope, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. That was very specifically a bombing spot, I thought. Maybe it is later? Ah! I guess, but. I didn't see. Or, wait, okay, wait, hold on. Wait. Wait, I just realized. Or, wait a second, is it the other direction? Because that's got more straightaways for a run. Whoa! Ah, shoot. Hmm. Just trying stuff. If I'm wrong, we can always backtrack. Well, yeah, no, I have no idea where we're going. We're going somewhere, we'll just figure out what it is later. Exactly. Hmm. No, okay, wait. I think that if you go down, that'll just lead to a, a power up that we already got. Maybe, but... Oop. Maybe you're right, okay. Oh, okay. try bombing the wall. Well, no, because it's not a safe place to land, so they, yeah. they wouldn't do that. Okay, uh, my bad, though. Well, they might. I don't know. I, I was just... Developers can be assholes. <laughs> I was just thinking, it's like, maybe there's something here. No. Oh. Alright. Anyways, while we're trying to figure out our thing, Metroid movie. Yeah. No, yeah, like, yeah, maybe focusing on, well, just Metro or just Samus. Just Metroid. Just Metroid. Metroid. <laughs> You just said it. I know. Bruh. That's the movie. It just focuses on, it's a horror movie, and it's based around, like, the Metroids. The and single Samus Metroid. <laughs> the single. 
or, uh, yeah, or before Samus takes them out, and yeah, the horror movie's like, Samus is the horror monster. It's just the plot of, uh, Metroid 2. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised there hasn't kind of been, like, maybe there is a thing like this. I'm surprised there aren't, like, more horror movies where, like, the p twist is, you know, like, it's the protagonist that's the monster, and they specifically frame it that way. Like, I'm trying to think of other examples, but, you know, I always thought, like, you know, a, there are, like, a bunch of Hitman movies, and they're all terrible, but why not make a Hitman movie that's, yeah, the everyone escaping 76, or 47, sorry. 76 is, uh, the Fallout game. Yes. All right, and also oh, the, and soldier. the Soldier. Yep. Okay. But no, like, make a Hitman movie where it's, um, trying to escape the Hitman. Oh, yeah, those are the, the running blocks. Right oh. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That, that would be a really interesting idea, actually. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know why I said actually, like, I'm surprised you came up with a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But, um, anyways. But I, I do like that idea, though. That's at, at least, like, to introduce the character, you know? Yeah, like, just even... Just make him horrifying. Yeah, for a little bit, you know, that'd be a cool intro. And, you know, that's a very specific one, but, you know, it's just sort of like, if you're gonna, you know, if you make a movie about an assassin, that is a hell of an opening hook. Uh... Ah. I, I feel like that's been done before, but I can't think of it. I'm trying to think, and, you know, probably... Maybe like Electra. Oh no, Electra! <laughs> Shoot. Wait, uh, try, uh, try bombing that uh, one spot. Uh. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I probably just didn't get Weird enough. Shit. No, I'm sure it's been a thing, but you know, I'm thinking less like in terms of video game movies specifically. Get out of here, see horse. Well, I guess Electra would be. Kind of ah, ah. Actually, what good video game movies have been? Uh, <laughs> that's a whole thing. Uh, actually, Detective Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog is okay. Okay. Uh, depending on how much you like your camp, the original Mortal Kombat. I remember... Oh, shit, I watched that, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I watched that with Robert. Oh, how'd it go? That yeah, was pretty decent. All right. I, th I thought it was really funny. I thought it was ironically great, and he thought it was unironically good. <laughs> I've seen both sides of that because... Again, like, depending on how much you like your camp, it can be ironically good, and there are some aspects of it where it's just sort of like, it's not bad in some other aspects. I can't remember if I watched a second one with them, but I remember thinking, like, man, this one's less cool. <laughs> just because it's, like, it, it doesn't have that camp to it, you know? It, oh, it, do, it has more camp, but it's actually bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How it's not, like, enjoyably bad, it's just bad. Well, the, again, depends on your, if it's so bad, it's good thing, because I've seen that about Annihilation, which was the first Mortal Kombat movie I saw. Oh, God. <laughs> but, um, anyways. No, yeah, Annihilation is just, like, a mess, and it's hilarious, like how you have Shao Kahn, who randomly does a backflip during his villain speech. I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I don't see why it was necessary. Oh, uh, he was like, oh, this is a little too serious right now. I need to... And it is glorious! Sorry. There's a lot of quotable lines from that. I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, you got, like, the weird, like, rubbery Cyrax who looks like, you know, a Power Ranger. He looks like a, one of the later Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not inaccurate, but... That's yeah. sad to think about. He, but he just looks, like, so terrible for, like, a dangerous cyborg assassin. Oh, I wonder what this guy's gonna show us, because we already know about Ridley. Oh, okay. Thanks. What the fuck? All right. What is he? By the way, I'm now just really like processing like the weird like hieroglyphs in the back. It looks so strange. Yeah, it's part of the uh, super advanced uh, bird people race. Uh, it, they're like bird Egyptians, I guess. Anyways, I'm, video I'm game movies. To... Oh yeah, I remember Dead or Alive had a video game movie. Oh yeah. And nobody like. <laughs> like, literally, looking at the actors, I couldn't guess who anybody was supposed to be. <laughs> Wait. Also, there's more stuff down there. Yeah, I was wondering how far that would actually take me. Ah, damn it. That seems really poorly planned. <laughs> For the... On the developer's side. But yeah, I don't know. I, oh. oh. 
Oh, so that could be a whole thing, too. Oh. But no, yeah, they got... It, it's so hard to remember. No, yeah, but they got um the Dead or Alive movie, which have you seen it? I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of these movies. No, I've seen the Mortal Kombat movies. I've seen yeah, but I've listened to like a bunch of podcasts and videos on it. The Dead or Alive movie I've not seen, but I've seen like the best clips that people recommend. If you want a good um video game movie podcast, there's the spinoff Doctors with um uh Jim Sterling or oh yeah no James Stephanie Sterling now because yeah stuff. But, um, anyways, uh, and Conrad Zimmerman, a friend of theirs. But, yeah, it's a really good podcast because they talk about a lot of fun movies. It's just funny listening to them riff on a lot of stuff. But they talk about the Dead or Alive movie, and they point out Jamie Presley, so, you know, Joy from My Name is Earl, um, yeah. as Tina. And, which, honestly, that's a good fit. It just doesn't look much like Tina, but... Nobody can... looks much like anybody, so... <laughs> and, but, um, no, you got... Yeah, Jamie... Or, yeah, or, I was going to say Jamie Lee Presley, but I think that's somebody different. I don't know any of the actors. I'll just tell you straight up. All <laughs> I know is that nobody looks like anybody. I tried guessing who was who. Right, um, but anyways. No, and then you got, um, wrestler Kevin Nash as, um, Bass. Who, he, this is a fun portrayal of the character, because he's just, like, the right size and amount of energetic for that character. Ew. Dude. Gross. Okay, probably nothing That's else. That's just something to think about for later. Okay. It's basically Snorlax. Okay. Uh, so back up then. But anyways, yeah, Kevin Nash's um, bass, though, was a pretty good um, pairing, actually. And when... Yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, how to subscribe the seed. Cause for, That's gonna go up again. Yeah, I know, but now we gotta go back up, because we've covered the other areas. Oh, wait, 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 what the fuck what's did we, that? What did we come down here for? We got the high jump. Oh, okay, yeah, so then we have to go up to Brin's Star to get, okay. Yeah, wait a second. That's really clumsy. Okay. Oh, well. So just back this way. No, but there's just like four reasons. Um, you got Tina and Christina sharing a bed because someone's room got destroyed. And then the next morning, that's where Tina and Bass are going to have a fight. So Kevin Nash just breaks in the room and's like, let's go! Who's Christina? Oh, uh, the, you know, the uh, white-haired girl in the games. Isn't it just Christy? Christy, I forget. Oh, wait, no. The th no, what made me think that, yeah, it's just Christy, but I think, but in the in the scene, yeah, Bass just breaks down the door. It's like, all right, a fight! And then it sees, like, Tina and Christy in the same bed. It's like, oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. You met somebody. Oh, that's great! Oh Who are God. you? <laughs> and so Christy's just like playing it up, and she goes like, "My full name's Christina." <gasps> Tina's name is short for Christina. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> and he's just so happy. <laughs> so yeah, Kevin Nash was a great bass. The only thing I remember about that movie was there. A f there was a fight scene that was basically topless. It was. A, I, I think. Oh, I think, I think that Tina was... was literally fighting people so that she could put on a bra. No, that was I, I remember right. That was Christina. I've seen that scene. What? How yeah. is that not Tina? Tina's on the boat or on a boat. Um, yeah, bro. I actually watched the movie, and you know so much more about it than I do. <laughs> and again, I've only seen a couple of clips after listening to a podcast. Uh, but anyway, no, yeah, Tina was on a boat, and she just like beat the crap out of some guys, and the last guy she just points off to the side of the boat, and he just throws himself off. I mean, I wouldn't fight her at that point, but I feel like I wouldn't jump off. <laughs> like, that dude's probably gonna die, you know? Probably, but that's on him. Oh, it's on Tina! Oh, and a funny thing they brought up in the podcast, because there was a weird thing where the characters got invited to the Dead or Alive tournament after they did something really cool, and so they're trying to figure out the logistics of it. It's like, so do they just have, like, every person has a you know, a watcher who throws them a badass token when they do something cool, and that's how they get invited to Dead or Alive. 100 missiles, Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, they uh, they stack up. Wait, isn't this the... Wait, yeah, where are we? Oh, okay. Okay, there must be something... Well, you can go down, apparently. Can I? Wait. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Observe it. Oh, yeah, you, you tend to notice little things. Ah! In in Metroid. 
Okay, just let us over here, which... Okay, no big deal. We're trying to go... I assume that you have to explore, like, those straightaways that, uh, they're, like, to your right a little bit. Yeah, up there, probably. Yeah. Oh, wait, I wonder if you have to start going up from the map room or something. Jesus Christ! Uh... Or go right from the save. Maybe? It's either that or it's, like, you see the map on the far right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah like, up from that area, maybe. Okay, I was confused. I thought you were saying we had to do something over here. But, no, we'll get back over there real quick. But, yeah, other video game movies. Um, I'm trying to think of any... Now I'm just thinking of uh, video games based on movies. Right. Like um, Spider-Man. Yeah. And Spider-Man 2. <laughs> and... Spider-Man 3. Uh... Which, by the way, is like basically a direct downgrade. Right. Iron Man. I liked it. I don't care what people think. Oh, actually, this happened to me months ago, but I finally sat down and watched my first MCU movie, Iron Man. Wait, you haven't seen any... Marvel movies up until this point. Nope. And that's not a statement. I just never got around to seeing any of them. Oh, by the way, uh, you can uh, you can jump now. Uh, oh, right. We, uh, no, in the in the morph ball form, you can jump. Oh, really? Yeah, you got that uh, with the long jump. Oh, didn't yeah. even realize. Yeah, I was gonna mention it, and then I forgot to mention it. Well, guess we're not going there. Fine. I didn't want to go over there. Cheap. Well, actually, you can probably just go up. Yeah. Oh. Just block it entirely. <laughs> That's why I'm that was blocking. there, because you did, like, the bomb jump over there, and we got confused what the point was. That pisses me off. <laughs> you just reminded me. I'm mad now. Hold on, let's save. Wait, I, um, I want to see something real quick. I should probably stop doing that, but, you know. It's fine. There are some things that you just will not see in a first playthrough. Oh, alright, never mind. Okay, see if anything would break there. I know these guys will, but. I mean, there's probably still some. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I have not seen any MCU movie until Iron Man recently, just because I had Disney Plus, and I go, like, you know what? For no particular reason, I'm just gonna sit down and watch Iron Man. What the fuck? Well, so, first of all, what'd you think? It was good. Yeah. It was a solid, solid movie. Nothing more. I was meaning to watch more, and then I just didn't care. That's I'll, fair. I'll get to the MCU eventually, but, you know, it's just sort of like... I just fell behind on that, because when Iron Man first came out... And I remember that. I remember thinking that looked really cool. But, you know, that was before Iron Man was really a popular character. Well, I mean, he was still popular, just only amongst comic book nerds. Yeah, but even then, kind of obscure. All right, can't go that no, way. All right, good to know. But yeah, just sort of like when that kicked off, and then yeah, Iron Man came out, then the next Hulk movie, and then Thor, and then there's like the movies just kept on going, and just like never got a chance to catch up. M, see so you keeps coming in, it don't stop coming. <laughs> Hit the ground. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, but oh no, yeah, Iron Man was fun. Yeah, no. That's about it. Like you know, that's about it. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I feel like it was a pretty darn good movie, personally, but I just really love the charisma of uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, I just realized, yeah. It just occurred to me, it's like, oh, yeah, we're doing new stuff here because we haven't been here yet. Yeah, I think we were afraid to make that jump or something. Oh, well, we couldn't make the jump, so now that we have the ledge grab, it's just easy. Oh, the well, heck? this is rude. All right, so it creates a shortcut when you go into it, I'm assuming. Huh. Yeah. So do we have to go down and around? Yeah. That's what it's looking like. Jesus Christ. Okay. But then that won't... What? Oh, wait, wait. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 wait. Oh, we need a new upgrade, basically. Um... Yeah, we need something that's able to break those things. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. So, ah, is that what probably what that Chozo will be? Yeah. So, yeah, I think we go around to, like, go up from the map room, and then we'll be able to eventually get, uh, the something-something, yeah, and don't... then we can use that to break the thing. Get out of my way. Uh, oh, right, we got... No, wait. Huh. Wanna try bombing? You can jump, remember. Oh, right. Or was it just a crumble block? 
Okay, yeah. Um, so maybe we don't. Go oh this way. wait, no, we're trapped. We're trapped here. Uh, there's gotta be something we can do. Uh, yeah, because I remember breaking open that one block and it was a super missile block, but we don't have super missiles. So we need to get that in order to go back. I believe. Uh, uh, nope, that's blocked off. I was just thinking, wasn't there a way to the right? Yep. If we die, we saved not too long ago. Yeah, I know, but I like to forget about that because it keeps the tension higher. <laughs> There's gotta be something we can do. What are we missing? I think maybe we have to try again in that uh, little secret spot. You mean the one up there? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll just... I don't know. I didn't look that hard. Well, I thought... I just oh, kind of assumed that it was like, you know, a little secret spot. I thought it just dead-ended... Oh, wait. You know what? There's probably like a hidden path we missed. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Sorry. This is what happens in Metroidvania games where sometimes you'll just get stuck. Yeah, like, this is specifically the mo- like, this is the moment where they're like, okay, you're stuck here now, you know? Whoops. Don't forget to kill those guys when they stick on you. Right, ah. Come on. I was moving out of the way, it's like, no, I don't want to blow that right, up. What if you go this way? What the fuck? Why would they make those breakable? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Huh. Okay, there's probably... No? Really? What the heck? Oh! oh. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Don't die. Ah! Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid them, and it's like, the bombs aren't getting them. Oh, right. Oh, right. That was a clever little piece of world building ah. that I was too impatient for. <laughs> Dude, I hate it. That's scary. We're at Boing. 12 HP, bro. And they don't care. Uh... Alright. Well... That's fine. We were at a... We're at time, but screw it. Let's figure out what this next thing is first. We're not too far. Go! Anyways, video game movies. Yeah. Uh, what so, else? are you gonna catch up on all of the Marvel movies then? If at some point, maybe. That was my plan. In fact, I thought about like doing like a video series because I didn't think that'd be too hard to make. Just so sort of, like you know, newbies, you know, guide to the Marvel or MCU, and just like here's my first impressions of watching every movie without the context of like everything that's happened. Okay, that would that would be interesting. Which I thought would be a fun way to just sort of like you know talk about like the stuff like here's what it's like watching this for the first time considering like all the context of the MCU and here's maybe some interesting facts about like production or something it's just I thought that could be fun and I was gonna I've been wanting to do something like that for a long time but I just never got around to it right nope oh, right ah damn it but you know I thought that would be fun and but yeah then yeah and I figured most of the movies are now on Disney Plus so now it's not such a hassle to try and get a hold of everything? Crap. I feel like it's still very much a hassle. But that, that was just my whole thing. I'm trying to watch them with my grandma, who does not have internet, so we're trying to get it from my account that I paid for to, uh, <laughs> to her house, and it's just not happening. Right. You gotta, like, buy peripherals, you gotta, like... You've been having this issue for months. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we gave up. Okay. Like, weeks ago. Very suit. Okay, cool. Eh, you get various oots. Decreases damage taken from enemies. Sweet. Prevents damage from acid and heat. Oh, sweet. Yep. Yo. And... Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I was just thinking, like, the weird artifacts that we found that aren't compatible with the suit. Not this one yet, but Not good to know. Don't forget, you can heal. Oh, oh, right. That is smart. All right, and then uh, should we call it here? No. Yeah, we'll call it here, and the next time we continue, we'll try to remember we're talking about movies. <laughs> anyway, so, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara and Co. signing off. See you next mission.